what's happening guys but there's been an I have an announcement say goodbye to the regular XD show and say hello to the XD game show where I will no longer have my show only on Facebook it will now be on YouTube most of it anyway anyway the XD game show it's going to be way bigger because I'm going to be talking about new or classic games. Well, I guess the only thing I can think about right now is showing you one of my recent games. I have a game for the PS3 called Singularity. Mm -hmm. Basically, I haven't really finished the campaign of it though, but I'll go ahead and read the back of it for you. Fight the past to save the future. Stop the singularity. Hmm. Learn the truth behind a massive cover-up of the catastrophic singularity, an event that featured fractured time and threat threatened the world as we know it. Armed with powerful advanced weaponry and the experimental time manipulation device, fought enemies from the past, the present, and abominations caught somewhere else, somewhere between. Fight the past, save the future, stop the singularity. Players 1, network players 2 to 12. Required hard drive space, 8 megabytes. Or millibytes? I have no idea what that stands for. And 7, 720p HD video output. Broadband required. Hmm. It's also a Blu-ray disc. It's from Activision. Unreal. Demonware. Bink Video. Dolby Digital. And Raven. Rated M for Mature, Blood and Gore, Gore, Intense Violence, and Strong Language. For younger video game players who, who want to play this, if you don't want to listen to Strong Language, I suggest turning down the volume in the settings. Anyway, I played this recently. Online multiplayer is a blast. It is so dangerously fun. I say dangerously because it's highly addictive. It's nothing like Killzone 2 or 3 or Crisis 2. But, online multiplayer. Now, when you start a match, it picks the team you're on first. And the good thing about it is, is you can play as a singularity. And what the singularity is, it's a virus infection. And you, know, you might say that this game is similar to Left 4 Dead. And I kind of believe it. Because in multiplayer, you play as the monsters, and you play as the, I guess, the marines. Oh, I forgot to tell you that this game is based in Russia, you know, on an island called Katorga 12. Get the game to play the campaign, and then tell me about it later. Anyway, there's four classes for the for the infection team. One is the Z uh, I think it's called the Zek or is it the Vek? Whatever. Anyway, it's basic. It's really a creature that can spawn nuclear barrels in their hands and they can throw it at their opposite team. That's all I know about that. Oh, and then they could turn invisible for temporary whatever. Anyway, the next one is called Phase Tick. Phase Ticks aren't really that strong in melee, but they're kind of like the little flood things off of Halo. Except they have legs like a tick. But they can jump on to a marine and play as it. So, 
Space Dick has some some pretty good abilities. The next one, a revert, similar to the boomer off the of Leopard Dead. It pukes, and the boomer can't do this, but it also lays little pus bubbles around, but they they're like this big if in real life anyway. They would be laying somewhere. They're kind of like proximity mines. Well, not proximity, but just mines. Walk on them and they explode. Anyway, when you puke on an enemy, it takes their health away. But when you when you puke on a teammate with the revert, it heals them. Okay, the next class is Radian, I believe that's what it's called. It's like this giant lizard-like thing, but mostly it's mostly like a spider. But I like to think of it as a lizard because it has one of those big floppy tongues, and it has really explosive saliva. Press R1, shoot a big beam, it blows up. Press R2. I don't believe what R2 does. I've shot it, shot it, these little spark sparks at enemies. But I haven't figured out what it does. Let's talk about the marine classes now. First, we have, I believe it's called a blitzer. It's stealthy, but it has an auto cannon. Auto cannon and it's like a chain gun. Something like that. Now we have the bruiser. Sort of like the brute off of Halo, but it's not an alien, basically. Now we have the Lurker, which is similar to the Scout off of Killzone, the Killzone games. And then we have the Healer. Enough said, it heals people. When you engage a multiplayer map on either team, you have to find a beacon or either dis destroy it and protect it with the infection team or send it online with the marines team. When you send it online, it gets rid of the infection. There's three of these in a multiplayer match. You have to get all three, well, I guess two out of three to win. I've planned to show three games every episode, but since this is the first episode, I'll just set it to one. On any other episodes, I will show more. I will show you a preview of some more I will talk about. Killzone 2. Armored Core. Call of Duty Black Ops, Skyrim, and much more. See you guys later. Uh, I hope to have another guest star later on. Still, have, still haven't gotten Justin Caples to get on here. But he might enjoy it since we're talk, talking about games this time. I've watched a lot of game channels on YouTube. And that's the, only thing, that's the only thing that inspired me to do this. Now this episode will be on Facebook. None of the others will. So, for anybody who on Facebook who would like to see more episodes, just go to YouTube.com and search up a channel called Multi Dark Fable. No spaces. Anyway, see you guys later.